Like many kids, I've been obsessed with white sharks for as long as I can remember. And I've wanted to dive with them ever since I got certified. Today, we're going to draw the Carcharodon carcarius. But first, let's meet some of these apex predators face to face. After a bit of weather. Hey guys, welcome to Draw It With Me. We're here in Ensenada, awaiting a hurricane to sweep through. As soon as the hurricane gets here, we're going to sail right into it and cage dive with great white sharks. What could go wrong? Let's take a tour of the boat. The authorities finally opened Ensenada Port, so we're on our way. Either Hurricane Rosa took a dramatic turn inland up the Baja Peninsula, or weathermen across the board are grossly inaccurate. Probably both. Now that we've gone diving with those amazing, incredible, majestic animals, let's draw one. You might as well use a still from one of the video clips I captured. This one's from the intro where it's chomping down a huge chunk of tuna, still attached to the rope. This was a lucky shot as it was our last dive and I only had a couple minutes left on my camera's battery life. For our drawing, I'll be using gray-toned Strathmore paper with black and white oil-based Prismacolor pencils. Start out lightly with the major body shapes and try to let your lines flow easy. We'll outline the caudal fins, then move up to the pectoral fins.
At the beginning of the drawing, just look for rough shapes and save the details for later. With the head, I found that different individual sharks have slightly different shapes, some with more pointy snouts than others. Also, their weight and size impacts the overall form. This one's a male, as you can tell from its claspers, those carrot-shaped reproductive organs on its abdomen. But this is a big male, around 5 meters. Usually the females are larger, and they generally come into Guadalupe a little later in the fall season, possibly because of their size. Since they're bigger, they migrate a little slower. Despite what you might think, a shark's eyes aren't simply black holes. White sharks actually have blue eyes, a hazy ring of blue when you see them up close. They're beautiful, and a little haunting. Famous for their rows of sharp, serrated teeth, I was more in awe watching them feed than afraid. To watch them gives you a healthy respect for their power and majesty. While in the cages, there's really no fear for your safety, you're mainly just trying to get a closer look at the beautiful animals. Count five gill slits on this particular white shark merging into its fin pit. You can call it a fin pit, right? Dorsal fins can also vary in size, shape, and disfigurement along that rear edge so they're usually back further on the body than the pectoral fins.
That distinct color break line between the darker back and white underbelly is unique to each individual shark and can be read like a fingerprint for identification. Body scars from major trauma can also help identify individual sharks, and some have been pretty bad. This lateral line or indentation senses movement in the water. Like portraits of humans, you've got to get the eye shape and relative placement right, or you'll lose the likeness. This is the most important feature for people and for sharks. Mess up the eye, and you mess up your picture. It's got these muscle and shadow bulges behind the eye which will help to conceal our mistake. The shading process can take a little longer, so we'll time lapse a bit to speed things up. Feel free to pause as needed if you're drawing along with me. better to find that pattern break on the belly with the value separation between light and dark. Once we've got the main shadows down, I'll switch to our white pencil for highlights. It's fun to see and draw the caustics, or light patterns, dancing over the back of the shark from above. Have fun with it. Try not to think of a shark's body as simple, straight, and smooth. It has musculature similar to the torso of a bodybuilder, 
So look for and try to define that musculature with your highlights and shadows, or mountains and valleys. If you'd like, you can color in the negative space behind your subject. I like to subtly blend it away into the background, varying the direction of my strokes and line weight. This white shark has dark, thin tips like those of a black tip shark, which will help it to stand out. A few finishing touches, and we're pretty much there. And if you want to see more shark footage, keep watching. I couldn't get enough of them. Share, like, subscribe, and take care.